In the Mix. Presented by California Pizza Kitchen. Now located in the second floor of the Plaza Shopping Center across from DFS Galleria. Welcome back to In the Mix. There are everyday heroes responding to reports of crimes and putting their lives on the line every single day. What's it like to be a police officer? Well, as part of Police Week activities, GPD held its annual Cop for a Day training program. And of course, I signed up. Welcome to Training Day, and this is an opportunity for the Guam Police Department uh, to work with our with our business community. And there's a lot of partnerships that goes on between um, uh, the, the business sector and, and the, the people in our community and the Guam Police Department. We interact on a daily basis. We begin our day with a briefing from Chief of Police Steve Ignacio and GPD Supervisor of the Year Sergeant Felix Camacho. Throughout the whole day, you know, you're gonna be treated like a police officer. You're gonna see how these guys. Um, and girls grind day in, day out. Our first stop was again for training with Highway Patrol on laser enforcement. Okay, first of all, welcome to training day. I see uh, a couple familiar faces from last year. This laser is about 99% accurate. From keeping Guam Street safe, it was off to the Aganya Marina for a ride on the GPD patrol boat along with Special Enforcement Amphibious Division to conduct boating enforcement. Uh, well, I'm, I'm assigned to the SWAT side, but I also help with the, the Special Enforcement Amphibious Section, also known as SEAS. Uh, this is what we basically do uh, when we're tasked to come out on the waters. Just go out, make sure the waters are safe. Everybody's out there, you know. Big safe and uh, we do boarding inspection. Every year we lose people to the water, especially here in Tuman. Tuman and up to Retidian, we have, you know, we, we lose a lot of tourists. And we, you know, we try to be as much as out there for them. So Another thing we try to do is we, uh, these people that go spear fishing, by law, it's required that they carry, they, they pull around a dive flag. And the reason for that is in the open ocean, there's no, there's no lanes for boats. Pretty much it's, it's open. So we're trying to prevent somebody from getting run over. From the Aganya Marina, we made our way to the Guam Police Department's crime lab in Mingilao. The Forensic Science Division does consist of three sections here on the board. The Forensic Science section, which is Serology, Firearms, Drug Analysis. The Crime Scene Response section, which is Crime Scene, Fingerprint, and Photo Lab. And the Evidential Control section, which is responsible for handling all the evidence that is connected to a crime and um, submitted to the Guam Police Department as um, evidence. Here at the crime lab, we learned how to lift latent fingerprints. Normally, you would want to hold this in an area where you don't want to, you don't want to disturb the, the, the location of the prints, right? So you hold it in an edge and then just run your your powder through the through the item until you until you see the latents develop. There you go. Case closed. Case closed. We need a. Another CSI here. <laughs> Once the prints are lifted, they are ran through an automated fingerprint database system. We search these latents against thousands and thousands of uh, prints on a database. And then within minutes, you possibly get candidates uh, uh, that you can uh, further examine. And if we do find a match, then we send it out to CID, which is our detectives. And they go out and, and pick up the, the particular suspect that we're talking about. From fingerprinting, it was off to the lab. You guys are going to get your hands dirty here. First, we're going to locate the stain, and then we're going to use our reagent to, uh, to decide, to, to find out if it is possibly a semen or not. A special light source was used to find the stain, and a chemical was applied to determine what it was. Once you locate your stain, which is about right here, you're going to take a piece of tape. So that you mark it, so then when you come back, because remember, we couldn't see that before. So we're going to put it right there. 
From here, was off to the firearms lab to meet up with firearms expert John Takenko. He's been here at the crime lab for three decades. So the main purpose of, of me um, being here is to determine if, um, if a gun fired a bullet or a casing right. And so, so if we just did a real quick scenario, something very common, right? There's a shooting at a, at a scene. I mean, a shooting somewhere else, it becomes a crime scene and they recover two casings from the scene. These are casings. And then they want to determine if these casings came from a particular gun. Um, maybe the gun that they find on a suspect or in his vehicle, right? Guam Air National Raceway Park, our training really started to pick up speed. Our group got behind the wheel of a police cruiser to go through an emergency vehicle operations course with certified instructors from Highway Patrol. Let's go. The adrenaline continued at the firing range in Mingila, where GPD's K9 unit conducted a demonstration with Peppa, followed by GPD SWAT doing a breaching demo. Time for a remix. You have a lighter one? Our training ended with a bang. It was a long day, but well spent learning about what our heroes go through every day. Tom Balderrama and Michael Lee are from Docomo Pacific, while Bob Perrin is with Pacific Tire. Exciting, it's fun, and uh, you know, it's just great to see what um, the men and women of GPD do for us every day, so really appreciative. Yeah. Uh, today I found to be very um, um, good awareness for some of the Docomo our executives. And we really do want to support the, uh, the first responders. Uh, and this event really does that for us. It was exciting to learn the different facets of what the police department actually does. Um, you know, and all this stuff has just added, you know, excitement to it, what we're doing here, shooting at the range, and also, uh, you know, driving squad cars and such like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's been definitely been an experience. And you've also you've done this in the past, right? I done it once back in about 2007. And it's changed. But yeah, it changed quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, definitely opened up some different things, uh, you know, that's showing the different, um, like I said, the different facets of what's going on here. The Entertainment Report is up next.